So here we are, the black sheep are going on a four day ride down to Wahin. Um, we're spending tonight in Wahin, tomorrow night in Pratchett Kirikan, which is where there's supposed to be a bike week or a bike day on down there. And then back to Wahin and then back home again. All up four days, pretty easy riding. Only shitty thing is we've got no choice but to go through Bangkok. There's six of us on this trip, four full members and a couple of hangarounds. You can see over there, you can see the boys just waiting for our breakfast to come. Happy days. Heading out of uh, Pattaya. Traffic's pretty heavy actually. Heading north to Bangkok. Um, this is sort of okay. It's not the greatest road, but anyway. Uh, it's the Bangkok area we all hate. Uh, Rutgers out in front is the road captain. He knows Bangkok the best and every time he's led us through Bangkok we've done pretty well. We've just gone through about 20 k's of the worst traffic now we've seen why. Blake's lying in the middle of the road. Motorcycles in about a thousand bits. He's been run over by a truck. Body, they're just leaving him there. The body's still just twitching on the road. Seriously ugly. That's the risk of riding motorbikes in Thailand. Unfortunately, the tyres have no observance of the rail drills. Christ knows what happened, who was in the wrong. We're moving again now, thank Christ. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Stop just south of Bangkok. Derelicts. Brand new. Brand new camera and the lens is cracked already. We finally got out of that goddamn traffic. I'm not sure what temperature it is, 35 or 36. Anyway, we're finally off the highway. We turned off 35, I think that's the name of it. And we're sort of heading directly towards the coast now. You can actually feel the temperature drop a bit. Uh, this road's not as interesting yet but it, they develop into some very nice roads. So, yeah. Digging it up by hand. Some more over here by hand as well. Look at that. Look at that.
here before, it's beautiful here. A couple of those statues out on that island there. Pretty cool, I must say, this place. We just came along some filthy roads, our bike are covered with red mud. This is an example of what happens when you ride at the back. Look Tough the, shit for the fucking the hang around, look eh? Ah, oh, that's his vest there. He's going to have to clean the hang around, he's going to clean all our gear tonight, so that's good to know. Toro Loco, eating great Mexican food, drinking lots of stuff and watching the Stonehead band who were just simply great and played our type of music. This place is owned and operated by Cartoon as the lead guitarist and singer of the band and a biker brother from the band Dito Nomads. Thanks for the great hospitality and brotherhood Cartoon. Hope to see you again soon. Pretty cool, just wandering along the edge of the coast. We're on the western side of the Gulf of Thailand. So we've come back, I forget what this place is called. It's an interesting place where they built a road into the side of a cliff. It goes nowhere. Don't know if it's supposed to be a tourist attraction or, or whatever. It's on one of the previous videos. Ah, but it's cool. Cool, cool. Little fishing village. It's interesting, the sand's not so white on this beach. It's a bit muddier. Here you go, right in front of us is where the road just goes straight into a cliff. Stops nowhere. Bang! pretty Chili color. <laughs> yeah, you're very sensitive about it. Yeah.
Sunday morning, day three. Got to be careful through here, heading out of Pratchip, Kirikan. All the monkeys on the right, camera probably doesn't pick them up. Beautiful morning. It's lovely riding along the coastline here. So we're heading back towards Wahin. Easy ride today, only a few hours, maybe a bit longer. We're gonna go, instead of following the coast, we're not going up the highway, we're going inland. And then we're stopping for lunch at a Thai winery, should be very interested. Marcus, Olivier, the Frenchman, so excited. Because we're going to a winery for lunch. So we've gone about 50, 60, 80 k's up the floor and now we've cut off and headed towards the border actually. Nice little twisty road this one. So hopefully this, I think we've got about 50 k's of twisties to go before we get to the winery where we're going to stop for lunch. Interesting, it's nice and green over on the coast but it's quite dry through here. I don't know what temperature it is today, but it must be mid-30s. Happy days. We are just riding into Monsoon Village Vineyard. It's supposed to be very good food. The wine is Thai wine. Marcus tells us, no, in his French accent, oh, we're not so good. So it's 200 baht to get in, but you get that back on your lunch, apparently. The boys being princesses. But you don't lose anything, they deduct it from your book. See? Cleaning up the floor. Okay. Very so nice spot. Like, you lose nothing, I think Very nice spot. You pay 200 baht at the entrance, but you get that back against your food bill. I'm not sure why we sat outside. <laughs> 38, huh? Oh, I'd like one. Beautiful one. Yeah, that was, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You found it, huh? Well, I don't know why I follow you guys. <laughs> you know who's going to be the next group captain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, uh, I'm joking. I am I'm joking. I know you. Part of riding in Thailand is riding through these little regional roads. Uh, Rutger's found some more dirt again. He's now known as the Dirt King. I can't speak too loudly because I normally find the same. That's the problem when they do roads in Thailand. They do big long stretches at the one time instead of doing smaller sketches and only having small road interruptions. <coughs> I guess it's probably more cost efficient in doing it this way. More inconvenient to the motorist though. Yesterday we rode through mud roads just kilometres and kilometres long where they're doing them up but only large massive tracks at the one time. Anyway, that's life here. It's day four, last day of the trip. Just navigating our way out of Wahin. We're going the direct route back home, so down the four, back to Bangkok. Have to go over the ferry, and then I think we're going to skirt the three. Be a hot and sweaty day, but no choice. 
happy days. boys and I have all split up heading home, we're nearly home by the time I get home I'll have done about 350 kilometres today, got to say they were hard yakka, that always stinking hot riding through Bangkok, it's never fun hot, heavy traffic I must say a very big thanks to The Rock who led us the black sheep over the last four days never, never underestimate the difficulty of being the road captain out the front especially when you're going through shit places like Bangkok please remember what I say people life can be ever so fucking short therefore live life today